presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over a fifty percent return in one day, not counting uh, everything else. But I just want to thank you. Tom's not perfect, but he tells you how to put your stops in, and he keeps your losses small. You can take your small losses, but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Ruth, and you'll hit a home run. I mean, a big home run. Yeah. And put the money in your pocket. Okay, I mean, brother, I you're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down 16. Nasdaq's up 65. S&P's up 8.5. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about taking action, not about attaining knowledge. Market-wise, folks, we have the Dow uh, right now uh, down, well, uh, now it's flat. You get the NASDAQ up 75, S&Ps are up 11, gold gold contract down $24.80, trading at $18.95 an ounce. We have silver down 37 cents, $22.71 an ounce, light sweet crude, bidding it up, 338, 93.77, notes and bonds. The 10-year note down 15 ticks, trading 107.20, the 30-year off 25 at 113.19, and King Dollar, you just can't stop it, man. The market just, higher King Dollar, lower the market. Here we go. So you get King Dollar up uh, 377 ticks, 106,608. Euros at 105, yen's trading at 149 British pounds at 121 to one US dollar. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Teddy Kegstad. Teddy, folks, is gonna be doing a live workshop coming right up after the show, four to five Eastern Standard Time. He is gonna be talking about how to capitalize on time with calendar stock option spreads, uh, four to five this afternoon. It's only $97, folks, okay, to really get to understand how calendar spreads work inside the option market. Teddy Kegstad, how you doing, man? I'm doing well, Tom. Good to see you. You also. You also. So tell us a little bit about, yeah, you have a market for this, that's for sure. <laughs> that's right. We have volatility. You know, it's kind of funny uh, with uh, the S&Ps and the NASDAQ tanking, uh, we'll be able to look at some definitely some uh, put calendar spreads. So, yeah, I'm, it's going to be, I'm interested in uh, or looking forward to the, the webinar. We have a lot of nice uh, opportunities in the market uh, that I'm going to go over uh, that are fresh and that have recently happened and, you know, show... Uh, all the viewers how they can incorporate calendar spreads into their uh, option strategies you know there's you know, all kinds of option strategies out there and there's times when calendar spreads actually give you uh, a lot of bang for your buck especially when you're you know you can use it if you when you own a stock and if you don't own a stock and if you or if you're thinking about getting into a stock there's reasons why calendar spreads sometimes are the way to go and Teddy and folks okay this is what's so cool it's all about decay right Yes. Yeah. And so if, you know, Teddy was a professional down on the floor, okay? Anyone that's down on the floor, folks, okay, they wake up every morning and they say, okay, how much decay do I have today, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, 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 you know, yeah, I mean, directionally, folks, okay, you know, we know that there's no crystal ball out here. But, you know, it's funny, Teddy, they're really, it's not a crystal ball. But because there's so many people that don't understand options, they don't understand decay. And like decay, right. is, decay is the heaviest part of the whole freaking deal. You're trading time. Yeah, right, right, right. right. Yeah, absolutely. You know, absolutely. I, I, and it gives you a really good reward to risk ratio from your decay from the front month to the back month leg as well. So that's what you look for in any trade to begin with is you want a good reward to risk ratio. Exactly. I'll tell you a wild story. So okay. in the run up in, uh, you know, in the 90s, right? I, I put on a couple options trades. I knew nothing about options, right? <laughs> like everyone else, right? Um, I, had a Dell, I had a Dell trade, and the, it was a call I had, and 
I woke up, you know, Dell, Dell come out with their numbers, right? And Dell was up mm -hmm. like, you know, at that point, we were always dealing with small numbers, folks. But Dell was up like $10, right? And I said, oh, my God, I'm going to make so much money. It's unbelievable. Well, the bottom line, folks, is that I broke even because, you know, I didn't even know what a premium was. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? It's like I looked at him saying, right. hold it. What's wrong with him, man? I, I was right. I, you know, I paid like a buck 20 for this. It was 10 bucks out of the money. But I mean, guess what? Yeah, right. You know, so. I got, I got to learn a lot after that because I love the OEX. I mean, that was. Mm -hmm. This that, is how we learn, right? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately. But guess what? You don't have to learn like this, folks, okay? Because this is the type of class that you can understand. You get a full hour to capitalize on how calendar spreads work. You know? So, uh, what do you think about this dollar move, man? Well, you know what? It's all yield indicative right now. I mean, you can see the yeah. business cycle. The cycle of businesses right now is really it's, for, it's working. You have interest rates, gold, and equities, and it's you can see that right now yields are driving those moves incredibly right now. Right. You know, and the, and the pricing also, Tom. You got to remember, we just made recent new lows in the 30-year and the 10-year, but we're at a level where we were a year ago and we hadn't had all these rate increases. So fair value is below where we're at right now. We're getting to you know basically fair value right so when you're pricing in which you've you know explained to us and educated on this the so the yield of the country is going to have a lot to do with the currency of the country on where it's yes. going to go right okay cool right mm -hmm. wow yeah pretty wild man because these yields look still look relentless <laughs> i mean I, yes you know last week i was thinking hey man i think we're topping out and then it was like these wide price spreads even today it's like this dollar man the next swing point is that it's uh, funny you say that tom because friday the, the 30 year i even had it in the tiger forex report we had a short-term counter trend buy signal it was negated right away on monday yeah you know so yeah. i mean that is that that tells you the momentum of this scenario that it really is it is fighting for fair value right now that's cool, man. I like that. Yeah, because I, I get I, that's a lot easier to digest, right? I mean, mm -hmm. it really is in the, in the context of, you know, where it is. Well, listen, folks, it's very easy to get into this workshop. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under featured content. Uh, man, Teddy Cakes, that he's going to be up at four to five uh, this afternoon. You're going to learn a, a great amount. And you know, as Tommy says in the morning, you know, even if you don't trade options, folks, it's great to understand what the derivative is doing because you can understand the equity market a lot more i mean if you you know i, I was reading today teddy right there's a there's a huge trade on that jp morgan has on but they only had they only have it on because that one of their um etfs basically that's how it works right mm -hmm. and it's intriguing because you know reading it i got i understood what they were doing but if you don't understand options, you don't understand like, okay, how can it keep be keep driving right. lower? And you know, I mean, that's how it works. I mean, right? You know, that delta neutral, folks, is a big deal. So market mechanics, right? Yep, exactly. Come over to our website, folks, at TFNN. You're gonna see Teddy right in featured content. Get in that webinar, folks. Teddy, we look forward to the webinar in 45 minutes, man. Thanks, Tom. Thank see you. you. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Adding stock options to your portfolio can be a major game changer, but the full complexities of these instruments can oftentimes elude even the most experienced traders. Whether you're a seasoned trader looking to sharpen your knowledge on options or you're completely new to the market, Teddy Kekstat is here to help. On Wednesday, September 27th, from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Teddy is hosting a live stream that will teach you how to capitalize on time with calendar stock option spreads. Teddy will also go over how to trade stocks and other market movements without large capital allocation, how to expand portfolio diversification, how to maximize potential returns, basic entry and exit techniques, and more. If that wasn't enough of a reason to attend, Teddy will also be answering all questions live. If you're serious about making money in this market, head over to the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up for Teddy's live stream. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 36. Nasdaq's up 56. S&P's up 4. Let's go over that oil contract. So I'm going to do the generic one. Well, no, first I'll do the current contract because what you have here is that you don't have enough volume yet, but if you're doing A to B equals to C to D, you know, you need 500 and something thousand, and we'll get 474,000 already. That being said, you're at 93.82. The A to B equals C to D is 103. So now let's go to the generic chart. Put this together. I'm bringing it back 15 years right now. Pull this here, let's see. Oh, let's do it this way, I don't have to pull it back that long. I'll pull it back 10 years. What we're looking for here, folks, is the swing area that this thing is nailing into. Okay, so here we go. So. 98, well, even the lows of the high, yeah. See, this is, this is gonna be pretty intense, man, because the lows, not of the first high, of the second high, come in at 101. The high itself comes in at 110, no, 130. One, no, 110, 110. Um, You're going right at this particular point. You're just going over one swing and you're coming up to another one. Yeah, this looks like to me, you're gonna 103, man. That's, that's where this is looking. Let's go to the XLE and take a look at the XLE because what does happen, this is what ends up happening also in the oil market, which is pretty wild. So to get oil, and this is what the difference is between oil and other commodities, actually, to, you know, you can get, they can accelerate oil out of the ground, folks, okay, in about 30 to 45 days. So when you get higher prices like this, you know, if you remember our man, Mr. Ed Young, um, you know, bottom line, it, the way you get lower prices is you get higher prices. You know, the higher it goes, the more that, okay, production's going to be done, and that's, that's what brings it down. Now, if we, when we put in the XLE up, this gets interesting because 
Now you're coming up to like, this is the fourth high. It's pretty wild, actually. That being said, it's going to need a lot more volume. Well, see, no, it had the volume. It had the volume up here two weeks ago. So it was hitting high volume two weeks ago. So that it, and if this busts it, it's going to be huge because what you have is that you you have a base on this that goes back to January of 2022. You get a year and a half base. So if you break topside, man, the XLE, you're gonna you're gonna get some big action, man. Because a year and a half base is a long time. Of, that's the whole building cause that drives people out of their mind. That's how that works. Let's go take a look at some of the NDX stocks first. You got the Sirius Satellites up 5%, Dexcom's up 4 Paychex, is that Paychex? All right, we're going to look at that. That's up 4.2. Taking away from it, PayPal's down 2. Microsoft, no, Monster's down 1. Let's go back to Paychex for a second. Because what ends up happening here is that, you know, look at this, man. Okay, so they come up with numbers. Let's look at this. This is kind of cool to see. Okay, so gains on first quarter adjusted beats estimates. Paychex bounce back. Let's, let's read this here and see what this says. Okay. So Paychex rose more than 3.6% intraday after the payroll and benefits company reported adjusted earnings per share for the first quarter beat. As expected, Paychex affirmed the 2024 guidance. See, slight upside from higher interest rate income. Oh, interesting. So they're like a bank also. Maintains inline rating. They were looking to make a dollar three. They made a dollar fourteen. Revenue was one point two nine billion. Estimate was two one point two eight. Funds held for clients thirty two point seven million. Huh. Estimate was eight four point two one. Operating income five hundred thirty six million. That's intriguing, man. Let me look at this chart again because. What does happen, if, I mean, if we're looking for recession, you know, the last thing you, you're going to see is a company like Paychex go higher. Let me see how much it's got hit prior to this, though. Okay, so you're down off a high of 128, which is not bad. Let me put this on a monthly now. Unreal. Yeah, this is still strong, man. This is still saying that, you know, people are working, you know, and people are paying paychecks in order to do their payroll. You know, we use paychecks. I love it. They do everything. And, you know, that makes it a lot easier, man. And, you know, it's, it's funny. They, and they're not that expensive. I mean, you know, I don't know, it's a couple hundred bucks a month or something like this, okay? But the bottom line is that... Uh, it, you know, we talk about well worth it, whether it's direct deposit, whether, you, you know, you have your retirement funds that are in there, they can match them up for you if you're employees. There's just a lot of things out there that are pretty easy. And it's probably more than that I'm probably paying, but it's not, it's not, a, not a huge amount when you don't have to worry about, you know, the filings. It's a big deal. Let's go to syntax. Let's see. Because syntax, now this was getting hit last week. And where are you? Okay. I'm gonna, we'll come back to that one. But the bottom line is, is that, you know, the, these clues for how long are these rates going to be high are a, are a big deal. And the real question is, is that are they going higher? Are they flattening out or coming back? When you read the, the, the deal about these commercial loans that are out there, it's pretty wild because most commercial loans, folks, are predicated on the Fed funds rate. And what has happened is that the Fed funds rate, of course, has gone from zero you know, to 4.5 right now. So you have huge companies that were paying basically you know, 3%, now they're paying almost 
but they're paying it on billions of dollars. In fact, the, the story this morning, yeah, Pets.com is, is, okay, so that's still in business. So this company here, the amount of interest that they're paying is astronomical. Look at this, this chart's one way. No wonder why, it's, yeah. I mean, they were way over their head in debt. You know, when th things were good, that, you know, 3%, that's one thing. Now, the interest rate structure's taken all their cash flow. Stay right there, folks, we're coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials down 12, NASDAQ up 63, S&P's up seven and a half, we're coming right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Adding stock options to your portfolio can be a major game changer, but the full complexities of these instruments can oftentimes elude even the most experienced traders. Whether you're a seasoned trader looking to sharpen your knowledge on options or you're completely new to the market, Teddy Kekstat is here to help. On Wednesday, September 27th, from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Teddy is hosting a live stream that will teach you how to capitalize on time with calendar stock option spreads. Teddy will also go over how to trade stocks and other market movements without large capital allocation, how to expand portfolio diversification, how to maximize potential returns, basic entry and exit techniques, and more. If that wasn't enough of a reason to attend, Teddy will also be answering all questions live. If you're serious about making money in this market, head over to the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up for Teddy's live stream. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow, Dow Industries down 32, Nasdaq's up 48, S&P's uh, down up 4. Let's go to Amazon. So you got the FTC. They're staying busy these days, folks. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. Um, they, they're bringing... Well, they're bringing all the, the big platforms in. That's the bottom line. Uh, in Amazon's case, uh, let's see, they're, they're suing it over their marketplace. You know, so we'll see where this whole thing goes. But, you know, they, they've already lost the first couple of cases uh, going after some folks. So we'll, we'll see how this whole thing shakes out. And I get, evidently the, uh, the chair right now, that's how she actually made her name 
meaning of, of three or four years ago uh, as to Amazon having uh, a monopoly. And it's going to be interesting because it's, uh, you know, I, I, can see, I can see what she's talking about. There's no doubt about that. But I think where the pushback is going to be is like, okay, you know, do we want to pay more for, you know, stuff that we buy? You know, that's what it really comes down to. Uh, and the convenience aspect. I'm not quite sure how that's going to shake out, but it seems to me that um, what has happened here is that the, the companies themselves have got so much larger than most of these regulatory bodies that, yeah, you know, it's, it's going to be pretty tough for them to bring them to heel. That's, that's what it comes down to. If we, like, if we look at Amazon, you're going to see, you know, just made a nice run off this low of 80 bucks. You're 126. You're pulling back with light volume. The thing is still set to go to higher price. I mean, you take a look at their numbers. Number wise out here, you're talking 141 billion. Look, just look at this, man. They did 70 billion, which is a lot 2019, right? 141 billion this year, and bringing 58 cents to the bottom line. Well, that's for that's for a quarter, not this year. 569 billion. <laughs> it's just amazing. And what is amazing, of course, is that they keep adding on services. All these big companies definitely keep adding on services, which, you know, now we, now the whole big deal is going to be the AI. You know, in Amazon's case, the AWS is a huge deal. They get in delivery right away is a huge deal. So, and, you know, I guess when you, you're making pennies, but you're making pennies on billions of dollars. What is going to be interesting is this. This is going to be the next case. So the way that, uh, um, if you remember, the, what happens is that if you're a bank or a broker-dealer, folks, okay, what happens is that they have strict compliance that, Every type of communication that gets done between anyone and everyone inside of those banks or those broker-dealers is supposed to be able to be traceable so that if something comes down for a client, you know, the SEC, NASDAQ, New York Stock Exchange could all basically get a traceable deal. And what ends up happening is that when you are actually you want to be part of that club, you are saying that you will adhere to that deal. Now, we know that the amount of fines that all these big banks have already got, they didn't adhere to the deal. They paid a you know, couple hundred million apiece. Didn't say they're guilty, but here's a couple hundred million and you know, we'll move on. Well, what happened yesterday is that now they're gonna go after hedge funds. And it's gonna be really interesting because Ken Griffin, okay, who flat out does more trades than his firm does more trades than anyone in the world. You know, flat out says, hey, man, I'm going to fight you on this thing. Because we're not a bank. We're not a, you know, they probably are a broker dealer, though. Yeah. Some, okay. it, anyway, he's going to fight them in court. So this is going to get really intriguing as to, you know, what subsidiary are they actually going after? Um, and we'll see how it's going. They're, they're all using WhatsApp. That's the real bottom line. Using WhatsApp. So, you know, the, the, the thing that's wild is that you know that everyone can get everything if, in fact, you're going to end up in court. And if you have enough money to get it. That's the, it's two different things. It's, you know, the government doesn't need the money to get it. They get it. Whoever they're going after absolutely needs high-end lawyers time and money in order to basically get what they need information wise you know so you know the, the next the next deal which is also happening is that as i bring this uh hedge fund deal up so this gets this gets pretty wild actually so you get the high frequency traders right and when this first started off picture when it first started off it was just the souls band that's then it went to the, the, the deal about having the pipe right beside the offices, meaning these hedge funds start putting their main servers right beside the New York Stock Exchange, the NASDAQ, 
as well as the Option Stock Exchange in Chicago. Then it went from there to putting underground cables in across the ocean just to shave off one tenth of one second. Okay. Well, here's the New Deal. The New Deal is that the and, and what has happened is that they they have an organization, all the high frequency traders, to get together. The New Deal is that they want to be able to use the bandwidth of all the ham operators, you know, um, because right now that what, what ends up happening, the ham operators have their own band. They're small bands, but what they are, they're very efficient because that's where the national communications are and the whole ball of wax. Well, this is going through right now, and it looks to me like they're going to get it. And what that's going to do, so check out what that's going to do. What that's going to do is that's going to shave off another one-tenth of one second. Now, picture what happens here, though. At one-tenth of one second, you and I as a human being, you can't get a lot done. As a computer, oh, my God, the amount of trades you can pull off with one-tenth of one second, meaning that if you know a trade's going off in Chicago and... You know, you're in L.A. or you're in Singapore, it doesn't matter where it is, one-tenth of one second means you're either going to make money or not make money. It's that, it's that dramatic. And that's the game that is out there and has been out there for quite some time. It's, it's collecting that data and then doing that by the aspect here. Watch. So if we take a look at this, you're going to see yesterday you did $898 million in the NYSE. And then if we go to the, Na the, the NASDAQ, he did $4.7 billion. Well, Ken Griffin runs, I forget what the number is, man, but I mean, it's like 40% of the trades. So just add up $4 billion, add up, add up four, well, let's say we did $4.8 billion yesterday. Just cut that in half, $2.4 billion times two pennies. That's how they make it hundreds of billions of dollars. Wild. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 57. NASDAQ's up 37. S&P's up one. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 114. NASDAQ up uh, 8. S&P's down 8.5. You've had some uh, nice volatility out here, man. So check this out inside the S&P's today. We started the day out. We were up about 17. Yeah, you got a, you got a high at 4. 336. You got a low of 4277. <laughs> you know, so uh, what do we got there? 36, 46, 56, um, 62. 62 SP points. And it almost gets back to the high and then just gives it up again. So let's go back to that to Sintas for a second. Thanks, Peter, for uh, putting that in there for me. I appreciate it. And the Tiger's Den. So we look at Sintas. What you're going to see now that came down with heavy volume yesterday. But when you still look at this on a weekly basis or a monthly basis, it's still pretty high, man. You know, let's, in fact, let me put this on a monthly. Yeah, I mean, this is the type of deals that, like, okay, it's still up there pretty good. Now, what does happen is this. Now, see, I remember this in 1989 in a big way, folks, okay? So, what happened in 89, it goes like this. You had the... You had the stock market crashes in October of 87, right? What happened, it took all the way to 1989. It took exactly a year and a half for the recession, and in particular, real estate, to get hit in a monster way. And it got hit. It got hit in Boston, Dallas, Anchorage. Southern California, where else? Probably New York, probably Miami. I forget the, these other places, but I'm familiar with Boston, of course, because I lived in Boston. I had offices up in Anchorage, Alaska, because I think that's when oil, uh, I remember reading the paper one morning out here in Anchorage, and it was like uh, $10.21 a barrel. <laughs> it was like, I think, I think it was uh, 6 61 actually, and it stayed at 10.21 for a long period of time. And, and in Anchorage, what was happening is that you could buy just about any, in Anchorage mostly there's, there are single family houses, but there's huge amounts of um, condo apartments that really look like um, two stories, and they almost look like hotels, and they have one and two bedrooms. That's kind of just how they built out Anchorage at that, at that particular time. And they were 10,000 bucks a piece. I remember it so well, because I was like, okay. So it was so intriguing because when this rate cycle was starting. I remember saying to Bestford many times, I said, you know what, man? And it started last March. So we are exactly, you know, a year and a half right now from March. And it's like all these things take much longer than you realize in order to hit. You know, and I was talking about yesterday the aspect of the amount of money that are, is in banks right now is that the that 80% of the United States has less money in the bank right now than they did prior to the pandemic. So all that money is spent. And I, I can see the aspect of also, you know, even three months ago, 
in the job market, what you had is that it was still, you know, very tight. Now, the numbers are still very tight in the job market, but I'm watching it. People are getting fired, <laughs> okay, which wasn't happening before, okay? I'm, you know, I'm giving you something that's just the local deal, okay? But the bottom line is, is that they're, you know, in Florida right now, they're not worried about people not having enough people right now. You know, the restaurants, well, no, the, the, the thing I'm just giving you, you know, I, I saw it in, in a restaurant. They, they just moved out a whole bunch of people because there's so many more people that are coming down to Florida. Now the, the, the group is bigger. That's the bottom line, which we didn't have. We didn't have that at all. So that gets really intriguing in the context of how inflation is going to hit. You know, or, you know, we're on the other, my, my take is we're on the other side of that, but all of those things get intriguing. Now, to go back to the year and a half, it's like, okay, are the rates gonna stay at this level until something does break? And if something breaks, what it's going to be, it's gonna be those regional banks again. It's gonna be the regional banks, or it's gonna be one of those big lenders to the commercial office space. You know, when you read about the aspect of how many large companies that we hear about, that, you know, on the way up, you always, I mean, this company Banyan, Banyan is huge, man. They've already given back four sets of keys for four sky high, you know, 50 story buildings, right? Um, this is happening under the radar in a monster way. And, and now it's in the office space, there's no doubt. But watch what happens here. When it happens in the office space, well, guess what? All those workers that are in that space, meaning, that work for those funds and all that, they can't go out and they, they, they can't be, they're not, this, they're not spending like they were spending. And that's, that's how this whole thing gets chipped down little by little by little. You know, I would say that what we still haven't heard about that is just as bad as the 2008 is the office space. Is the, the you know, they're trying to hide that as much as they can. Meaning, you know, we're never gonna need that much space. In St. Pete, now, we got really lucky because we never had a lot of office space. It was actually detrimental to St. Petersburg, Florida because of the fact, you know, office space equals jobs, right? So what has happened is that just the opposite has happened because we have beautiful high rises that are gorgeous. You have singles that are gorgeous and just the opposite has actually happened. And even when you compare that with Tampa, Tampa only has an 11 percent uh, vacancy rate right now, but that's that's climbing. That's climbing. So St. Pete's been very lucky that they didn't have the office space that was available because that you know guess what? We're not going to be using as much office space as we has in the, have in the past, and there's no reason to, because everything's digital. If you can work digitally, which you can do even faster, you know. You, you, I, I get the context of climbing up the ladder, meeting in person. I love meeting in person. I mean, I, I, I get that. Trust me. I, I, I think that's 10 times better than everything else. Uh, but on a, on a bigger basis, um, you know, bottom line, you don't need that much office space. Let's take a look at uh, the Dow Industrials and what's moving some of these stocks inside the Dow. So. You get the oil stocks and uh, you get Caterpillar, I get, you get uh, Chevron putting 19 positive points, Caterpillar putting 19, Intel putting four, taking away from it. Nothing big, man. McDonald's minus 25, minus 18 rather, minus 28. You get Procter & Gamble minus 15, Goldman minus 10. There's not a big number there, you know? And you can see why the, the fluctuation inside of the S&Ps, inside the NASDAQ, inside of the, uh, Composite, that's why it's fluctuating so fast back and forth. If we go take a look at the volumes out here today, where are we at? We're going to go, you're at 517 inside the NYSE, and right now we're at uh, 4.2 in the composite. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industries right now down 69. You get the NASDAQ up 20, S&P's off 2.5. Let's go take a look at some of these automobile stocks. You get... Uh, uh, GM still basically flat at the bottom. You get Ford. Ford's a little bit higher. And then good old Tesla. Tesla's don't have to worry about st strikes. TSLA. Yeah, that rejected lower price today at 234. Pull this back a bit. Well, you still got a consolidation happening here. You're down from that 400 level there, 2, 240. But you know, the other the other two, you know, we'll see how long this is going to go on. But it looks like the what you do have is that uh, this comes Friday, they're going to pull out a couple more. Uh, plants to shut down and we'll see how that shakes out meaning because it's it's it, it's very smart how they're doing this this time meaning that you just go after where the parts come out of that are crucial um in certain vehicles well in most vehicles and have to finish the vehicle off and so that's how those strikes are coming down and we'll just uh, see how that uh, thing plays out this is uh it's definitely, you know, 
the the amount of here, let me just look at this quickly because in the journal even in the journal which is of course conservative they were talking about the aspect of the disconnect between what the CEOs and the executives were getting in pay versus the workers so you got come on come on up here okay so you got Mary Barr well non-cash 12 million cash 8 million Yeah, she's at 20. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Thank you.